Hello, how you doing today again? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. So I know Elementary OS 5 Juno has been out for some time, but this is my first time using it. So I thought I'd do my own review. So it's easy to navigate. You have your dock down here at the bottom that you can customize. And you have your panel here on the top. And of course, you have the items on your panel. Power down, suspend button, notifications, the time and date here in the middle with the calendar. Then an applications menu that you can view or get to your programs in three different ways. You can view it and just scroll through it by clicking on these buttons. Or you can go by categories and get to your applications. Or you can actually search for it. And now I can launch it. So it's very, a very navigatable and easy to use navigation um, menu. So you can click on it or press your super key. Oops. Well, you press the super key by itself. You get the shortcut keyboard. Application menu. Okay, my bad. Super key in space. Or the Windows key in space. Space bar. So if you like using the keyboard instead of your mouse, You can do that. Easily install deb files. Now, Eddie is in the App Center. And so that's Elementary's OS G Debbie. So it has some pros and it has some cons for me. The con is I really like. G Debbie, or maybe I'm just used to using G Debbie and not Eddie. But Eddie does have a unique feature over G Debbie. So we're selecting a file, and then you would uh, click open to install it. Or load from downloads and it's going to go through all the dot deb files in the download and it's going to list them here so if you know you're going to use or download a few deb files to install now what you just got to do click 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 or uninstall click 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 or downgrade since uh, it has that has done some updates, obviously on these applications that I've installed already. <coughs> so Eddie does have some unique features, but it's the app that you gotta install. It doesn't come pre-installed. You have to install it from the App Center. A Steam installer for gaming. The reason I find that as a pro it's just nice to have it easy to easily install. 
most Ubuntu derivatives uh, do. Developer applications in the App Center. So, elementary OS, not only is it sleek and design in the way I, li- uh, I like how it feels, you can develop applications and as long as you meet their criteria, you can also put the applications in the App Center for elementary OS. So let's take a look. This one here, notes up, is obviously a developer. And you could just click, pick, or go for free. Down here at the bottom, other apps. So the pro is you can install and contribute to developers for applications in elementary OS. The con is up to the developers to keep things updated and working smoothly and functionally on your desktop. Now, notes up. Why not? I'm going to see how it does. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. I'm going to go back to home though. The con is not easy to get to Plank settings. Most docs, to get to the settings, you just right click someplace in between. With Plank, you got to hold the control key while you right click, and then you get a pop up menu to go to preferences. I like the choice of dockets. As you can see, I put my trash can here and an applications menu. Now, the applications menu is not a left click. It's a right click. And then it pops up. Then it's like a classic menu. And s- selecting and choosing the applications you want to run. Other applications for customization. So one that I like and have installed here is this here. This is called the desktop folder. So you right click, new panel, and then there you go. Move to trash. Now it's gone. One of the things I like for this look and feel, one item in trash, right click, empty trash, empty trash. What does that look and feel like? Which is a good segue into elementary OS's file manager called File. You can do the normal look and feel, or you can do columns. And see how that look and feel is. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Elementary OS tweaks. So, elementary OS doesn't come by default with the buttons up here. 
This is actually some theming and some tweaks. So if we go to settings, elementary OS tweaks, tweaks elementary OS settings. And this is after you get it installed, the tweaks. So, how did I get elementary OS tweaks? I had to install from a repository. Before you can install from a repository, you have to install this here also first. Software properties common before you can install repositories. Then I installed the repository, I did the update, and then I did the install. So that's pretty much a con. The con is for me there's not this type of tweak setting for elementary OS by default. Not only that, you have to install another command before you can install repositories. So my cons are few, as you can see. This has almost become my daily driver, elementary OS. I've been using it a lot. As you can see, I also themed and tweaked it up quite a bit, too. So, there you go. Elementary OS. Have a nice day.